Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Guys, we're over here in the shopping district. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about this recently, and we need a presence here in the shopping district. We have glass, right? We have the gray glass permit, and Etho has already done some things around here, added in these different pillars with the different glass, which looks, it looks pretty okay. Um, Joe also added his and made his slightly taller than every other one here, which got me kind of thinking we should add ours and continue that trend. So, uh, I've added my gray glass here, right? It's two diamonds per stack. Uh, this has been here for about two or three days at this point. Um, sales are a little light, but it's the weekend. I expect that once the hermits come back from the weekend, literally everybody is going to be purchasing great glass. Uh, but to keep with that trend, like Joe made his taller. I went ahead and made mine a little taller as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a little taller. All right. I wanted to keep with the theme. Joe made his taller than all of ethos and I couldn't have Joe be the tallest. So yeah, that's where we are right there. So it's a little bit taller. It's a little bit more noticeable than the other. So naturally all the hermits, are going to be coming over here to buy gray glass, right? Right? Yep, so I've had people ask me already when I'm gonna be selling ender chests. I've even had people ask me when am I gonna be selling ancient debris? In fact, in fact, XB came over and we did a little trade. Let me show you that clip. I would need enough for four, so 20. You want 20 ancient debris? I think that's how many I need you. Yeah. Okay. We can make a deal here if you want 20 inch of debris. You got the diamonds for that? Of course. XB out here, big ballin'. Let's go. Who ain't got the diamonds for that? Is that 20? It is. Okay. There you go. There is 20 ancient Deborah. You know what? I'll even we toss in. I'll even toss in, since you're my first customer, 20 gold ingots, so you can make the thing for yourself. There you go. Sweet. Oh, man, bam. <laughs> Here, I'll even give you those. Look at that. See how wow. I'm saying? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's awesome. All the GMOs. Mm-hmm. I love my GMOs. They're good. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, no problem, no problem. It. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, dude. First customer. <laughs> you. See ya. See ya. Yeah, so XP came over. He was our first customer. I told him that the ancient debris, I was going to be selling one diamond block per, and he's like, I want 20 of them. I was like, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? So on our very first sale, without even having a shop open yet, we've already made 180 diamonds. What? What? That's right. I think that entitles us. Does it entitle us to go over to Azuma shop and get the 100 diamond sold special trophy thingy, whatever he's selling over there? Hmm. I mean, technically we had the permit, but we didn't sell it in a shop, but we did sell it because we have the permit and we don't have the shop set up yet. So I, I feel like it works. I don't know. I think we'll head over there anyway and get ourselves the trophy. But before we go over and grab that trophy, let's go. Find out what Ren and False are up to in the nether. Hypno False, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've got something to show you. Ooh. Something awesome. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. We what? got together yesterday uh -huh. to do that previous segment where we showed False this thing. Then I got super inspired and I just finished the bartering system last night at like midnight. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh. Fancy. It's done. It's done. All right. Great. Show us. Show us it. Well, like, how do we get okay. there? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me what? show you step one. Right. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Step one. The the gold's got to go up the tube. Oh, I don't have any gold to go up the tube. Hmm. Um, it's fine. Pretend it's okay. this golden carrot is a, go a golden block that's been made by the crafters. <laughs> okay. 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 There it goes. Oh Going yeah. Look at it go. Goodbye. Good we'll see you at the top. Now we've got to go to the top. <laughs> Oh, we gotta go to the top. Okay, go, go, go. Yep, 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 yep. All the way up to the top. To Ooh. the bartering platform. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the bartering platform. Oh, it's all filtered. Fancy. It's all sorted. Oh, wow. Look at this. 
Golden Deep Carrot would have eventually uh, ended up in here. It should be at the bottom chest. There it is. So it works. Oh, That's where all the gold nice, take. nice, nice, nice. Yep. Is this how much now, you've gathered, Vince? You've yep. built this? I've also spent an insane amount of... I've probably spent four stacks of gold blocks already to get the items that I... Because basically these filters are double filters. You need like to double the amount of items to the set gravel. the filters up. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've yeah. spent maybe four or five stacks of golden blocks already. But Ooh. all the filters are now set up. So, Hypno, if you, sir, would do the honors of firing this bad boy up so we could see it working. Um... So gold from here. Okay, gold, gold. Got it. Yep. Yep. Into ingots, obviously. Gold into ingots. Got it. Yep. This is the on button. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Hit you the on button. Flip it. Yep. I press the button. Boom. That turns the ether clock on. Now you got to go and load this bad boy up with the ammunition, Hypno. Go stick those golden ingots in the chest at the top of that ladder system. Oh, okay. And it's super advanced. Super here we advanced go. Right here now. we go. I don't know if I... Here we go. I, I'm remembering how to use a ladder. All right. Here we go. <laughs> and it's just right. into this chest, right? Yep. Just into there. Now, those ingots are being rained upon eight piglins that are trapped inside of an eternal chamber of trading. Oh, here we... Oh, I see. There they go. They've got their gold. The timing is uh, controlled by an etho hopper clock that will trigger a few seconds after they finish their trade. Then a bunch of slime thingies pushes the items <laughs> That's along. That's super cool. <laughs> oh, wow. The packed ice. And uh, we're burning the ender pills because we don't need those. But everything else we're collecting. Just watching those items get squished out of where the, the piglins are. That's super <laughs> fun to watch. That it is, is cool, right? It's yeah. so cool. So this yeah. is awesome. Boom. Oh, it's so cool. I love it when it gets shot That's across. so cool. Yeah, I love Stuff that. like that. Yeah. Oh. So it's working. Next step is to install, like, shulker box lo a loading system. But yeah, I've, I don't know. But maybe some other time for that. that yeah. I mean... This was hard enough. You might have to... Uh, move this up a little bit if you want to put it in the shulker box loader, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. What, we'd have to redo the whole thing? <laughs> Don't tell me these things. Don't say that. I, I didn't say no, no, no. anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> this is great though, right? Because now we've got quartz for me, uh, obsidian for me and Hypno. We've got uh, yeah, gravel obsidian. for false. Yeah. And we've got access to like other stuff that we could potentially trade with some of the other permit holders. Uh -huh. Which is really good too. Yeah. We got blackstone, we got soul sand for days. We have insane amounts of fire resist noob juice. Yeah, Amazing. fire resist potions are good. That will save yep. so much time, yeah. Right? <laughs> yep. And yeah, Sweet. it's up and running. So if any of you want to ever come up here and just do some AFKing. There's uh, AFK you know. on there, up there, right? Yeah, so like this thing will actually, now this farm will do two things at the same time, right? Like you can dump the ingots into the chest, then go mm -hmm. AFK up there. That'll generate new gold blocks and do the piglin bartering at the same time. This mm. farm is, may I say it, incredibly overpowered in the best kind of way. <laughs> it's so insane. I'm all for that, yeah. Yeah, this farm is <laughs> real, <laughs> real good. I'm happy. I'm happy Wait. too. We just um, need more obsidian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Obsidian's gonna be yeah. way harder, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I've got some editing to do, so I'll AFK here for a bit, and I'll turn all of this gold into <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good, sounds good. Sounds Sweet. Good, yeah. So, false. next up, you're going to make it look good, right, at some point in the future. Yeah, it might need a little while, but yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. Yeah, 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 no pressure, obviously. This, mm -hmm, to make mm -hmm. something this massive look good is going to take some time, but... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> This project is uh, from Hypno's and I side, dude. We we did it. It's done. It's done amazing. It's working. Good job. Good Woohoo! job, everybody. Hey Neighborhood bartering farm Woo! done. We did it. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? The next we take over the world, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for that. <laughs> All right, I'm down for that. Yeah, let's take over the world. Let's do that. <laughs> so if you haven't seen. Over here by the Hermit Permit Office in the shopping district, Azuma set up the sales shop. Yeah. So the sales shop, the whole idea here is that when your shop sells so many diamonds worth of stuff, you can purchase a badge of honor to show that. Which... Hmm... It feels like a scam. Like It feels like a scam, but at the same time... At the same time, we're going to be displaying 
the 100 number there, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look. There's other trophies here that we can collect. So there's the 100, the 250, which we are very close to. We're only 70 away, right? With our very first purchase. Uh, 500, 750, the 1,000, the 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, and the 10,000. Now, what makes me say that this feels like a scam is to get your first trophy today for this one, but it costs 10 diamonds. That is 10% of our sales in order to purchase this badge. Is that a scam? I don't know. If we get the next one, is the next one going to be 25 diamonds for this? Is it always going to be like 10%? Because when we get to this point, that's going to be like a thousand diamonds, right? Oh my goodness. That is going to be stupid expensive, but these trophies look so cool. These trophies look so cool. Guys, microtransactions maybe? So is Azuma able to get trophies for selling trophies from his trophy shop? I'm not actually sure how that all works. But anyway, uh, 10 diamonds to get this. There is a ender chest right here. Let's go. I will go ahead and purchase one of these. Oh yeah, look at this, we already got enough loose change, nice. So there's that, and we're gonna purchase our 100 diamond thing. Okay, so we can see what it looks like here. In fact, we can place this on our head. I'm pretty sure that's a pumpkin, yeah? Yeah, very cool. So that's what it's gonna look like, uh, except like in an item frame at our shop on our grand open. I can't see anything, what is going on? with the camera yeah so it'll be looking like that in an item frame uh in our shop for the very grand opening which is gonna be super awesome let's get started on building ourselves just a little pop-up shop i think so we can have a presence in the shopping district we're not building anything fancy not yet just the ability to be able to sell in the shopping district so i've been eyeballing the shopping district trying to figure out where it is that i want to set up my shop so we got Corrales got, a, got his bee area over here. Skizzleman's got his snow area there. It seems like the majority of people are kind of clustered in this area. I don't, and it looks like we got the beacons way back here. I saw it lo almost looked like there was some project happening behind there. We got, looks like a newer shop that I haven't seen yet, Basalt. This is False's area. Something new is going back in this area. Yeah, so here's the thing. I'm not setting up a permanent shop, right? This is temporary. It's going to be something, a little pop-up shop similar to this, right? Not the permanent thing, but just a way where we can actually sell things in the shopping district. So I was looking around and we're a good place to be. So there's a couple of spots that I, I thought about here. So leading over to where false is going to be, there's like some open area here. We could maybe put like a really small little pop-up shop here. Uh, could be over in this area as well, but the thing is we're starting to get some like more permanent structures here And I'm not sure I want to put a pop-up nearby that right We're gonna start lowering the property value of those shops and yeah, that'll just be a whole big headache Plus it'll be like completely overshadowed by this thing uh, Yeah, so anyway over on this side we got a few more pop-up shops we got like the mud hut that actually might be a permanent one um, we got, what is this one? The hay bale shop. This one might be permanent, but it's kind of got that pop-up shop kind of vibe to it. This one definitely has got to be temporary, right? The shulker box one. So like coming over here, we got some more temporary shops. So I was kind of thinking like, maybe we could follow this path along here and kind of like utilize this space right over here for some pop, for some temporary pop-up shops, right? So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm kind of feeling like we could put maybe a little pile of cobblestone over here for our cobblestone, maybe like a little pile of coarse dirt over here for our coarse dirt. Nothing super fancy. This is just like, so we can start selling things and tell the hermits that it's available, right? Um, and then maybe like over here or something in this area, we could put like our more better pop-up shop, the tough stuff stuff. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm just gonna start working on some things trying to uh, You know just place down some blocks and then maybe bring a path over something along those lines So let me just go ahead and get started on that and we'll be right back All right guys So I just want to reiterate one more time that these are temporary shops and I will be building something better not Like this, but I will be building something better in the future. So uh, along the path over here we come this way and you can see 
our tough stuff right over here. And then we have a path that leads over this way to a couple of other really very basic pop-up shops, right? So we have our cobble right here mm -hmm. and it is one diamond block per shulker of cobble. I think that is pretty good. So the shulker boxes, if you buy them in the shopping district are three diamonds each, right? So it's six diamonds essentially per shulker box for the material inside. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. And then over here, we got ourselves our coarse dirt and I am going to be selling it one diamond per shulker just the same. I think that's pretty fair as well. It's six diamonds for the material inside. Uh, if you spend three diamonds for a shulker, right? So basically I kind of want to just sell everything for diamond blocks. I think that is probably the, uh, the lowest currency I want to go. So yeah, we can uh, come back over here to the fork on the road and then come over to our tough stuff area. So uh, probably on display here, my 100 diamonds achievement already, which is pretty cool before anybody else has seen this shop. Uh, so we have ourselves our ender chest right here. I'm going to be selling them a diamond block for four ender chests, right? I think that is pretty, pretty fair. We got ourselves one diamond block per ancient debris. Yep. Over here, we got ourselves five diamond blocks per lodestone. Yeah, so a lodestone is a ingot, a netherite ingot, which is four ancient debris plus the gold plus the other materials plus the crafting plus looking up the recipe, right? So maybe it's a little expensive. We'll see. I am negotiable on this. I could bring it down to four, but we'll just do five. And I only made one until we get like a lot more ancient debris here where I can just like fill up the chest. Uh, but anyway, we'll see if there's any interest on there. And I do have the little mini blocks for those particular items, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see here, I'm also placing down some netherite mini blocks mm -hmm. on the back here. I still need to put some signs. Uh, I, I do have some item frames. I guess I could do that. Put some uh, obsidian there, crying obsidian here. Uh, so the obsidian, I am selling 32, one diamond block per 32 obsidian. Now, the reason why I have this price is because over here, this one, we're selling four ender chests for a diamond block, right? So in order to make an ender chest, it is, let me uh, clear my inventory over here. So you take, uh, well, it's eight obsidian, right? <laughs> Plus four eyes of ender. So they're getting a little bit of a deal buying, buying uh, the ender chest versus this. But what I don't want to have happen is that they buy the ender chest because they're cheaper than the obsidian. And then they just pick with a non silk touch pickaxe and get like a better price for obsidian. Right? So trying to keep these the same as like the ender chest, right? So that's where we're going with that. Uh, over here we have crying obsidian. I'm doing one diamond block for 64. You can craft some things out of this like respawn anchors. I'm not really sure if there's anything else that you can craft with this. Otherwise, I don't think this is going to be a very popular material, but We'll see, maybe people like the particles. Maybe maybe we'll, there'll be some people that wanna have like the little purple drippy things, I don't know. And then finally we have ourselves our respawn anchors over here, one diamond block for four of them. I, f I price it this way because I don't think respawn anchors are that popular, but each respawn anchor is six crying obsidian. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It's six crying obsidian and three glowstone blocks. I think it makes sense. This might be a little too high price. I might should do eight of these respawn anchors per diamond block. Maybe even more than that. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think of my prices. And finally, I was thinking that I could set up like a separate shop. And I think that is part of the rules eventually when we get permanent shops set up for the lava bucket. But uh, for right now, I think I'm just going to keep it a part of this one since this feels kind of nethery, right? All sorts of like nether related items in here. So yeah, uh, put the lava bucket over here and I am doing two diamond blocks per shulker of lava. I don't know. Maybe that's a little expensive. We'll find out what people think about it. I only have one shulker in here for right now, so I do need to go through and stock up. I'll probably be doing that on live streams this week or something along those lines. But so far that is our shop. So the only sh thing that we're missing that we don't have here in the shopping district is our green terracotta. And we're supposed to be joining the big T 
collective, I think, the big terracotta collective. Uh, that hasn't started yet, but there it is in, in the works. We've been talking a little bit. So uh, when that happens, I'll have my green terracotta available. All right, so the other day, Azuma was pushing a resource pack to the server. He was trying to make his pickaxe look differently if he applied some sort of a data value to it, right? And the thing is, is it made the pickaxe kind of look like how I'm holding this book. So it's like not how a pickaxe should look, how you're actually holding it and it's like vertical, but it was looking like an item, like this book, how it was side to side, and it was kind of smaller compared to like what a tool looks like. Anyway, it was pretty weird. So uh, I was kind of like running around the server trying to find people who are online to see if it was just me whose pickaxe looked weird and I ran into false and then false was like, no, we should talk to Azuma. So we ran around the server looking for him and this is the conversation that ensued. He's at his base at now. His base? No Let's way. get him. Let's get him. There's no, okay. <laughs> This guy's playing hide and seek on the server. Where is he? You know, answer because he's relaxing. Stop relaxing, Azuma. Where are you? You can't relax in Minecraft. It's serious. So you got to get a permit for that. Per <laughs> permit for relaxing. Have have a permit for relaxing. Where is he? I still can't, I still can't see his name. He's not even here. He says he's here. He's lying. Is he downstairs? He as well. <laughs> I found name tag. Can't lie without permit. Azuma, where is he? Azuma? I'm gonna check downstairs at his base. Hello. 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 I am up the top. Somewhere. I feel like he's hiding. Oh. Up. I'm not hiding. I'm just. I'm a mess of block and inventory clutter and general clutter. That's, I'm at the top of my base. How do I get up there? At the top. Very top. Oh! I hear myself. Oh! Oh right. Whoa. Oh, right. Speakers I on. Guess I, I totally not set up for a recording, but hi. Aha! Uh -huh. okay. So oh, you're good, dude. Your trim has changed again. Wait, Azuma's it holding it as well. Azuma, have you pressed what? F5 and look at your hand? Look, compared to compared, compared to. Uh, me. okay. I know why it's. Uh, well, yeah, I know why it's doing that. You got weird pickaxes. <laughs> yep. It goes weird. The axe and the I... shovel also does that too. <laughs> I pushed an update to the resource pack to try and add um, like custom textures for the netherite tools and oh. it didn't work but <laughs> I would not have expected it to have somehow changed like holding a regular netherite tool no, like, we'll you've shrunk them in the wash out. wait what? what trunk in the wash? you've put them in the wash haven't you? the shrunk whoa Yeah. that's another problem what's that? yeah Oh, that's that's my custom texture not working, <laughs> but I didn't notice that it changed this when you're in F5. Yeah, it <laughs> oh, looks that's... so silly. <laughs> oh dear. Are the other custom textures okay? Because I haven't looked. Well, they didn't work, but I didn't think it would affect the original thing, which somehow it has. So I'll have to disable it temporarily. That's odd. So my idea was just to create like a slightly different looking pickaxe for if you have fortune because I, right. I make the mistake of like getting my silk touch and fortune muddled oh so i thought a custom texture would be a cool way to uh, distinguish them so you'd um, like have that with nbt data or something it'd be specific to you basically uh not specific to me because we're doing it with the resource pack so it's the same thing you set a custom model to a different value uh -huh. like this is what it does when i set it to one because it didn't work Oh, I see. But it should be displaying the other texture, but apparently somehow it breaks the regular thing too, so... But that basically sucks. what I was asking is it would only affect your pickaxe, it wouldn't like change everybody's fortune pickaxe to look like that, right? No, no, no. I, I would I would set the custom model onto a pickaxe of my choosing, right. which would be the one with fortune. Oh, okay, okay. But other people would be welcome yeah. to use it too. It was just, like I said, it's just because I get them modeled up. Well, I just name my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just name one Sulky and one Fortune yeah. or whatever. That's yeah, how I usually I do it. Yeah, like, I feel like I need a visual aid. Like, I need the pick to yeah, look a bit true. different. Mm. So I just, like, catch it. Because the amount of times I break my under chest by mistake It'd is... It'd be cool to like, get trims for tools, right? You could add a little different color band. That would be handle. cool. Yeah, absolutely. When are they going to add uh, armor or uh Just like a die to add to the handle, yeah. I love the sound of that. 
because that's simple, Sounds right? You just do cool. a blue and a red, and then you know your blue one's a silk, and then the red one's the whatever. Yeah, yeah, how are we expected to play this game without having, like, special-looking tools and stuff? That doesn't even make sense. You've got a friend. I do have a friend. Hi. You do look like him at the moment. You are very ally-colored. I mean, I could bring you wheat. Is there any wheat around here that I can bring you? <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to push an update, and it should... Oh, it happens all. live now, right? Like, not on reset? Exactly, yeah. I can yeah, see so why it went wrong out. now, actually. It's because I... Uh, it's just it's just the way that I did it. Oh, like, I'm still learning this mm. stuff. Yeah, to get so, the new texture pack, you'd have to I was going to stare at the pickaxe and watch it change. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, not quite. I mean, I guess you could manually download it, apply it, and then watch it change, but... No. <laughs> no that's okay, I'm push into happen. the server. And then we should get a message soon. New. Sorry, we, so we did, cool I don't think we planned to, uh, well, I don't think Hypno planned to bug you like that, that quickly. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Yeah, I had no idea uh, that was even a texture pack issue. I was thinking that was just like mm. a bug in the game or whatever. Mm -hmm. nah, nah, I need to get one like, of these. How do I get one? I changed I it a, earlier so it made sense. Oh, the if Elena? you want one. Uh, grab an MFS Geo. Uh, MA uh, words are difficult. I literally um, haven't ever used them, so I literally have no clue. Okay, so... They are kind of a cute mob. You want two things. You want an Amethyst Shard from this brewing Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep them in there, apparently. Mm -hmm. And then you want an item to give it to pick up, and then you'll be able to throw that item to get it to follow you. Oh, can you actually put them on a lead, though? Like they're on the leads, right? You can, you drag can them. but it's a lot easier to move them around if you just throw the item that they're going to give you. So, like, Hi. grab, like, do it with dirt. Yeah, but isn't there a way to, like, breed them? Like, I don't want to grab one of yours. Yeah, yeah, I'm walking you through it right now. Yeah. Look, grab oh, the dirt. <laughs> right, so the Amethyst yeah. Shard, just right click on this guy here with an Amethyst Shard. You have it's to have a duplicate it. No, you have to have it. a jukebox playing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, if you've got a jukebox and a record. No, but you could hum a song. Maybe that'll, <laughs> maybe that'll work. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Um, no. Don't... Wait, I've got. I need a diamond, right? I, I can make a one. diamond. I've got a jukebox. Yeah. It's the record I don't have. Oh no, I don't have a record. Oh, okay. I have a record. I can go grab one. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be right back. Play. Also, I'm gonna relog and see if it fixes. <laughs> I'm back. Come back. back. Do we got a jukebox? Wait, how do we get actually get up there? Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I have a jukebox. Let me uh, hop out of here again. You went to this corner, false. The bubble column, and you click that. Oh, I forget that that's up. Yeah, I was looking at it thinking it was down. I forgot. I need to, I might have to borrow that elevator. This is such a cool one. Oh, yeah, and then the record, which one is this? This is 13. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> so loud. See, they've, they've left now. Look, they've left. I'm not a fan of that one. Uh, let me, let me get them to come back. So do you just have to hold wheat for them to like... No, you have to throw you? the item of, that they hold on the ground, so. Oh, they pick it up, right, yeah. Should and they put, do they put it in a chest? No, they give it stuck. to you, the player. <laughs> They're supposed oh, yeah, to be able to phase see. through blocks, but they like get Where stuck they? behind... They don't, yeah. It is one. So I'm giving it a... Oh, you got one. Okay, Amethyst Shard. Whoa. Then it's gonna... Right, so that guy who's fresh, you need to go give him a dirt block. I'm gonna give him a moss block. Okay, but you need more moss blocks, because now you've got I've to come got, over got here. To yeah. Yeah, throw it on the ground, and it'll come to you and throw... Like, pick it up and throw uh, it at you. Let me get out. Quick. And that is the way in which you kind of, like, fuck with them. Is there a delay yeah, on how often you can breed them? Is it still five minutes, or can you just do it over and over? I think it's five minutes. Him. Okay. Whoa, do you want one as well? Uh, yeah, but not right now. Not right now, honestly. <laughs> right, I'm leaving I, this guy home. I tried bringing one from a, uh... Thank you, X. A mansion that was like 3,000 <laughs> blocks away, and I couldn't even go more than 20 feet with 20 blocks without, like, losing me, so... So, what I, what I do is I use the throwing the items on the ground method and a lead as well, and then you're sort of dragging them and encouraging them to go in your direction. Uh, if you practice that at all... You know, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's not too difficult. Yeah. Oh! Oh my goodness, he jumps again. <laughs> How are you doing down there, False? Uh, he keeps wanting to go back. <laughs> he doesn't want He doesn't want the block. Take that it's one. probably Thank better you. to have a lead than if they start, like, yeah, freaking out. Yeah, I should have a lead. Yeah. I have one. 
You'll, you'll be fine with throwing the block, uh, throwing the things. You just need to do it frequently, you know, like walk 10 blocks, throw it. Yeah, I don't need like the stairs, maybe. Oh, yeah, that could be it. Uh, yeah, they are a bit finicky. Like, seriously, you could go to the bottom of the stairs and just throw, throw it like on the ground there. See? Yeah, they're so quick when they're they're not on a lead. I've never I never knew yep. they were this quick. Go down there. <laughs> Go get it. Fetch. It is. I, this is actually better than dogs in Minecraft, right? <laughs> <laughs> they actually play. Yeah, they're, with they're, me. they're pretty good. They're pretty good once you get the hang of them. Oh, I've lost him. There he is. This is actually the wildest thing. I don't know now how it's not being a pain. There you go. It's picked up Thank again. you, X. I now have this. You're guy. welcome. He's stuck, Enjoy. I think. He's stuck. He's lose. stuck. I'm going to lose him. Yeah, I know. He's going to get lost. All right, guys. So I made a slight change to the lava bucket price. I originally was going to sell it for two diamond blocks per shulker, which I still am. But they can pay one diamond block if they return their previous shulker with all the empty buckets. How about that? That way, it's kind of like, you know, how you get a propane tank for your your uh, propane grill or something like that. And you can take it back and kind of refill it kind of a deal. So it's like you can buy a brand new propane tank or you can refill it kind of. a uh, OK, so that's where my mind is with it. Maybe, maybe it's still a little too pricey. I don't know. We'll see how the, the hermits handle it. Uh, but yeah, I kind of feel like. Uh, with the returning of the shulker, getting a brand new thing full of lava for wearing diamond block is is a value. I think that's a value. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think about all the prices and the shops. Obviously, they are temporary. They will get upgraded to something better. I don't want to see any comments about how like ugly they are or whatever. Uh, I know. I know. They're just there so the hermits can't actually get those resources for now. But anyway... That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.